There's always Highland hospitality where we're heading, to a village where locals used to opening their doors for tourists and their holidays are now preparing to do it for humanity. This is a list of, of just accommodation providers. How many names are on that list? We're now up to about 50. Pub owner Gavin has a list of locals we've signed up to offer homes to those fleeing war and companies here ready to offer jobs to refugees too. The whole community has rallied around this. Which they always do here in Aberfeldy. It's, it's a fantastic community. So I kind of guessed that this, this would happen. And, and the response and the support we've had has been nothing short of tremendous. There has been this outpouring of support and offers not just here in Aberfeldy but across the UK. But charities will help people match up with Ukrainian refugees do have some concerns. I think it's disappointing the government is still requiring people to complete a complex and highly bureaucratic process to apply for a visa. Really, we should be waiving visas in the way that other European countries have, which means that Ukrainians could get here much more quickly, much more easily. And then when they arrive, we should match them with UK families or, or UK sponsors. For those who've already registered for the Homes for Ukraine scheme, the next step could come tomorrow. That's when a visa application form goes live online. Hosts who do know the person or people from Ukraine they want to provide a home for should let them know to fill that out. We can take two people and uh, our thinking is probably a mother and child would be, uh, would be ideal. People in Aberfeldy are already talking to refugees they'd like to help. Alison is one of those in the village preparing her spare room and she believes the large numbers we could end up arriving here as early as next week mean they will have the support of each other. They've already been removed from their own home, their own culture, their own houses, what they knew and felt safe in. And uh, I think it's going to be really vital for them to have opportunities to create their own community here as well as having a safe, comfortable place to actually live. There is some comfort in this kindness as they open their homes here and hearts too. Alan Jenkins, 5 News, Aberfeldy.